In this video, I want to talk about the retrosynthesis of benzene derivatives, okay? And, and typically on an exam, you're given a molecule and you're asked, okay, well, make it, okay? Make it from a certain point. So what if we're given, in this case, this is called embromoanilin, okay? This is embromoanilin. So what if we're given um, the instructions to make embromoanilin from benzene? How do we approach it? Okay, how do you approach these problems? Okay, well, you gotta know your directors. Okay, I see that my substituents are in meta position. Okay, so what does that mean? That tells me that I needed to have a meta director on the ring uh, in order for me to get um, uh, the substituents in a meta position. So we know aniline, we don't know anything about aniline, but what we do know is that from NO2, we get aniline, and we know NO2 is a meta director. So therefore, in this case, I'm gonna take benzene, okay, and I'm gonna nitrate it. So I'm gonna add sulfuric, uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, okay? And this gives us the, uh, the nitro group. Now we have double bonds, now we have a meta director. So in this case, now we could just brominate, okay? So Br2 and some sort of Lewis acid, okay. So once we do that, we get NO2 and we get a bromine in the meta position as NO2 is a meta director. And then uh, we just reduce the, uh, the nitro group. And there's a plethora of reducing agent. I typically use sodium borohydride, okay. So if I use sodium borohydride on this, I'll get my aniline, my get my NH2 group and my bromine. Okay. Now, the reducing agent doesn't matter. Okay. Um, it's very important that you just pick one. Don't just memorize all of them. So I could also use uh, one. Uh, that is one. I could also use uh, stannous chloride in HCl. Um, another reducing agent is also uh, you could use hydrogen and platinum as a as a catalyst. Uh, yeah, yeah, and there's a plethora of other reducing agents, but just pick one, okay? Now, what if we wanted to make this, okay? We wanted to make this molecule. Uh, so we wanted to make this molecule from benzene. How could we make it from benzene? Okay, the question always comes down to which one do I put on first? Well, again, I see my substituents are in a meta position. What do we know about uh, substituents that have double bonds? They're meta directors. So therefore, that tells me that I have to put on this, this, this sulfonic group first, and then I chlorinate. So therefore, from benzene, I could use sulfuric acid in heat, fuming conditions, and that will give me the uh, the SO3H, and then I just chlorinate uh, aluminum trichloride. Okay, when I chlorinate, I get my desired product. Okay, now for those of you who are wondering about this, um, another way of doing this is also adding SO3. Okay. So whenever we add SO3H, um, it's the same thing as sulfuric acid, acid in heated conditions, okay? So I just want to make sure that we're clear on that. Okay, now what if we wanted to make this? Make this from benzene, okay? What do we do? Well, again, I see that NH2, this amine group, we have no idea about, but we know that we get this from a nitro group, a nitro group or meta director. So therefore, if I nitrate first, I'm sorry, I don't know where I write this. If I nitrate first, sulfuric, uh, nitric acid and sulfuric acid, I get the nitro group, NO2. Well, that's nice to know. These are meta directors, so therefore I could just chlorinate CO2 and aluminum trichloride. Okay, and we get uh, 
uh, Chlorine in the meta position and then all we do is reduce again choose a reducing agent I'm gonna go with sodium borohydride. It's a mild reducing agent not too harsh Okay, and that's how we get our desired product now. Let's look at a slightly more complicated one Okay so what if we wanted to make this, okay? And we're given the instructions to make from benzene. Okay, how do we go about making this? Well, this is where we got to think in organic chemistry. And this is part of the reason why organic, organic chemistry is uh, part two is a little bit harder because you have more tools in your toolbox and you, you got to think hard. So the first thing when I look at this, I say, okay, well, I see something that's added onto my benzene ring. So therefore I could use fuel crafts, some sort of alkylation or acylation. Okay. But I have an alkene and I know that if I retrosynthesize this, I get alkenes from alcohols. Okay. So maybe I have an alcohol here. I get alkene from alcohols. Now, where do we get alcohols from? We get alcohols from ketones. Okay, so this is a retrosynthesis that I'm thinking. Well, if I break this bond here, this is a acid chloride. This is an acid chloride. And so if that is true, then I could take benzene, okay, and add this molecule here. Okay, if we add this molecule in some sort of Lewis acid, in this case, iron three chloride, iron chloride, I'll get the product that I want. So I have my ketone that's bonded to that. Okay, well, that's nice to know. And then again, how do we get ketones to alcohols? We reduce. So in this case, I could use sodium borohydride again. Okay, mild reducing agent. Okay, and we get our alcohol. Okay. Now, where do we get alkalms? How do we get alkenes from alcohols? We just simply take any sort of acid in heat. Okay. Take any sort of acid in heat and that will give us a desired product. Okay. So this one's a little bit more intuitive. You got to think a little bit more hard about this one. Let's try the next one. So what if we wanted to, what if we're given the directions to make this? Uh, from phenol. Okay, how 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 would we how would we attack the problem? So we know phenol looks something like this. Okay, so how would we make this from phenol? Well, can I just break this bond here and uh, use this molecule here? Wrong. Okay, this molecule does not exist. Okay, just, just leave that out your mind. This molecule does not exist. So we got to go a different route. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this is a ortho para director. We don't care about the, the, the para product for now. We just care about ortho because it's in the ortho position. Okay, so I'm thinking any sort of R group I add. Okay, any sort of I, uh, R group I add on this benzene ring. Okay, I still have my hydroxyl and now I have a CH3. Remember we said about R groups. Anytime I have an R group and I use potassium permanganate in heated conditions, I get the carboxylic acid. Okay, so this is how we've synthesized. In this case, this is actually called salicylic acid. This is salicylic acid. So that's how we'd synthesize salicylic acid from phenol. Now, what about this one? What if we were given the instructions to make this molecule here? Uh, uh, how fr from benzene, okay? Again, these are the problems that are difficult because you got to think so much and we have a plethora of tools. Well, again, I see that I have a bromine. Well, I know that if I had H, if I take an alkene and I had HBr, 
I get my bromine. So if I if I do the retro uh, synthesis, I could get this molecule from an alkene. Okay, I can get this molecule from an alkene. Well, again, where do we get al where do we get alkenes from? We get them from alcohols. Okay, we get alkenes from alcohol. So maybe if this was an alcohol, river OH. Okay, we get an alcohol. Now, where do we get alcohols from? We get them from ketones. Okay, and again, this is a classic. Friedel Krauss acylation problem. So I could break this bond here and replace that with a chlorine. Okay, so if I'm running the synthesis forward, I could take benzene plus this whole molecule here. Okay, and then Lewis acid. Okay, and I get the corresponding uh, molecule. Now again, I'm going to reduce, so I'm going to use sodium borohydride. Okay, and once I use sodium borohydride, I get the alcohol. Okay, so once I use sodium borohydride, I get the alcohol. Now again, if I add H3O plus in heat, I'll get, I'm running out of space here, I'll get the alkene. Yeah, I'll get the alkene. And then simple, we use acid chemistry. So um, Markov Nikov addition. So if I take HBr and I add, yeah, so if I take HBr and add to an alkene, I'll get, and I'm running another space here, guys. But if I take HBr and add to an alkene, I'll get a desired product. So we have a pH. Okay, we have a pH uh, um, that's bonded to the bromine. And we have the R group outside. Okay. So again, a plethora of ways of doing these types of chemistries. Uh, but again, nothing again, nothing difficult. And also I want to point out something about this one here. Okay. This one we used a different chemistry. We use just a Friedel Kras um alkyl isolation. Um, but Think about this. We could use Grignard chemistry from this, right? Think about where do we get secondary alcohols from? We get them from aldehydes. So therefore, if I'm looking at this, if I break this bond here, and I'm trying to squeeze it in here, I could get this molecule from benzaldehyde. Yeah. So I could get this. So I could get this molecule from benzaldehyde plus magnesium bromide in heat. Her Grignard reagent, okay, and you'll see that we'll create our secondary alcohol. So we'll create, yeah. So so this carbon, which is nucleophilic, will attack, and the acid will neutralize to give us back our oxygen. So this will attack and will form a bond, um, yeah. So we'll get our secondary alcohol. We we'll form a bond like this. Uh, like this, yeah. <laughs> Missed the carbon there. Okay, so again, there are several ways of doing these types of chemistry, but the process that I want you to show you is the retrosynthesis. Um, uh, doing it backwards. Okay, so before I even run the synthesis synthesis forward, I think where can I get these different functional groups from? Where can I get that from? That that's the process I want you to see.